a parcel since the, the beginning, since the creation. My great, 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 great father, Henri Grelou, uh, quit La Fleur, founded La Fleur in 1972. He was already land owner of uh, Chateau de Gué, just here, and of Grand Village, the other estate we, we have today. And um, he had a um, special uh, intuition when he, when he had the occasion to, to buy La Fleur. He decided to don't plant La Fleur in Le Gué, to separate La Fleur, to give La Fleur separate. And was he created uh, this house with two cellars, uh, winery, everything separate. He turned with meters between Le Gué and La Fleur, but he, he had uh, this feeling to keep La Fleur separate because he had the, the feeling of uh, special potential of, uh, of, of so um, it was the first great choice for, for, for La Fleur. Uh, the second choice was to plant in the real division of Cabernet Franc for the region of the Philosophera. He decided to plant more than the division in Cabernet Franc. So it was uh, why he wanted to go everywhere. So it was exactly the same choice uh, did uh, Henri Foucault-Losa. So uh, Henri did the same choice in Cheval Blanc at the same time. So it was, it's two really important choices. Um, after that, in the story, La Fleur was um, given by um, daughters and daughters of why uh, it became Robin, uh, the name changed, uh, Grelou Robin. Uh, La Fleur and Grand Village were separate. And um, by the Robin, one Robin really important was André, um, the father of Thérèse and Marie. Uh, André um, decided to focus uh, his life about viticulture. So he stopped in his Negos in Nibon. But that Negos was not such a touristy country. And um, he focused, it was during the 30s, 20s, 30s, and also it was quite difficult to, to, to say why at this period, a big crisis. And um, it was very important for us because he, now we are basing our own massal selection on his massal selection uh, did in the, in the 20s, 30s. So it really was really important for, for La Fleur because he, he kept uh, original genetic for Cabernet Franc from the 19th century um, with, uh, with the job he did. Uh, it's, now we are basing our own selection on their selection, so we are really lucky. After that, uh, he didn't prepare um, his daughters to manage La Fleur and La Gay, and suddenly he died uh, in 1946. And um, Thérèse and Marie um, took the, the, the management of La Fleur and Le Gay. Um, their real first vintage is 1947. And they, 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 they made a good job. Uh, and in fact, they, they were really conservative. And we are lucky because they were, they were conservative, because they, they didn't um, play with uh, new fashion, uh, new clones in Merlot in the 70s, uh, no Kimi. Um, they, 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 they used to keep everything as uh, my father died, uh, did, used to used to do because they had no conviction about um, uh, new new fashion etc. So they preferred to keep everything. And when uh, my parents arrived, Therese died in 1984, and it wasn't possible for Marie to manage everything, Le Gay and La Fleur both. So um, my parents had the occasion to arrive here um, by a, a renting contract in 1985, so 1985 is our first vintage here in La Fleur. Um, everything was a bit dusty, was a bit whole, but it was, um, it was pure, you know, since the beginning, nothing changed. They just bought the first tractor and the first pump in 1975. So it will give you an idea of uh, how it was managed. Everything was always, um, La Fleur was always uh, peaked. Um, Later, after after the game, they always start to picking the game. Always start after from this corner, going to this corner. Everything blends. The same thing. Since the first barrel to the last barrel, everything in after no second vin, nothing, no selection. So it was really, uh, it was a pure, uh, quite uh, Calvinist uh, way of, uh, of making. But it was quite interesting, and in many vintage in the 70s, for example, it was a good choice to pick later than uh, everybody here. A bientôt! bientôt. Bonne journée! So, when we arrived here, everything was, uh, of course, we missed plants, uh, etc. All the vineyard was quite full, but nothing changed since 50 years. So, it was an occasion to understand slowly things. Uh, year after year, vintage after vintage, we had no money at this time, so we had time to understand. It was, I think, it was better like that without money, because you could be, uh, you could make.
big mistakes really easily. And, uh, this kind of billiard will be tiny. It will be unbalanced really quickly, uh, replanting too much mellow. Uh, I don't know what. So that's our story. Lafleur now is 30 years. It's us. And so we will test 12. 13. <laughs> 13. No, <laughs> we could test 12.